because of Rwanda's recent history, we have a deep connection to the plight of those seeking safety and opportunity in a new land. As you may be aware, Rwanda was formerly one of the world's leading producers of refugees, and many Rwandans have experienced what it means to be displaced. This has shaped how we approach migration and asylum. Rwanda already provides a refuge for almost 130,000 refugees from multiple countries, including neighbors like the DRC and Burundi, as well as Afghanistan and migrants evacuated from Libya. This work has involved partnering with international bodies such as the UNHCR, the International Organization for Migration, and the African Union. And we remain open to continue working with these and other organizations on this new program. For there to be meaningful long-term solutions to the migration crisis, which is causing huge suffering to millions, we need to do more than just give shelter. It is possible to frame migration in another way, and it is an opportunity for all societies to thrive. Fear and suspicion of those who need to move to build a better life makes it harder for all of us to better work out win-win solutions for all. Migrants make social, cultural, and economic contributions to societies in which they integrate. We believe that Africans and others from elsewhere should be able to live safe, dignified lives in Africa and should not be locked out of opportunity. This is why we need to work with partners on bold new approaches which tackle the root causes of irregular migration while providing immediate safety and opportunity to those currently in need. Madam Home Secretary, this is why Rwanda is pleased to work with the UK on this partnership. By relocating, by relocating migrants to Rwanda, investing in their personal development and providing education, employment, and other opportunities, we are giving them the chance to make new lives in our country as full members of our communities. This will not only help them, but it will benefit Rwanda and Rwandans and help to advance our own development. And for those who don't wish to make Rwanda their new home, they will be facilitated to return to their country of origin or settle in other receiving countries. We believe this partnership with the UK offers a unique and innovative approach that will provide a safe haven and opportunity to those in need and be the first crucial step towards a more effective and humane global migration system. We look forward to partnering with the UK on this exciting program. I thank you all and welcome the Home Secretary to make her remarks before we take a few questions from the media. Madam Home Secretary, the floor thank is you, yours. Minister. Thank you so thank much. You. And um, thank you for your incredibly warm welcome, certainly to my delegation and our colleagues from the UK media as well. Um, I'm delighted to be here in Kigali alongside our friend and partner, Minister Dr. Vincent Baruta. And I just would like to express my personal thanks in particular to him and his team for the constructive way in which we have been working um, over many, many months to achieve and deliver this partnership. The United Kingdom has a long and proud development history with Rwanda, and our shared interests have resulted in a strong and strong economic and development growth, lifting millions out of poverty, but also resulting in growing manufacturing and technology sectors, which are generating jobs and sustainable um, growth for generations to come. Now, I know at first hand that your country minister is a regional and international leader. You are on the global stage, very much yourself more often than not, but also hosting the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, the World Telecommunications Development Conference and the Sustainable Energy for All Forum. Your national leadership is the African voice on international initiatives, which really speaks to seeking to find solutions to regional and international challenges. 
And I'm very honoured to be here. And the UK is delighted to be working ever more closely with Rwanda. We have many, many interests in common, and we face many of the same challenges. And I want to turn to one of those challenges now. The global migration crisis and how we tackle illegal migration requires new world-leading solutions. There are an estimated 80 million people displaced in the world, and the global approach to asylum and migration is broken. Evil people smugglers and their criminal gangs are facilitating people into Europe, resulting in the loss of life and huge costs to the UK taxpayer. The tragic loss of life of people in the Channel and in the Mediterranean at the hands of these evil people smugglers must stop. And today, our approach as two outward-looking countries has led to the signing of a new international partnership, which is a world first. It is a migration and economic development partnership with the country of Rwanda and the UK. This will see some of those arriving illegally in the UK, such as those crossing the channel in dangerous small boats, relocated to Rwanda to resettle and to rebuild their lives in the way in which the minister has just outlined. More than 28,000 migrants crossed the channel last year by small boat in very dangerous and perilous conditions. The UK asylum system is collapsing under a combination of real humanitarian crises and evil people smugglers profiteering by exploiting the system for their own gains. Criminals are exploiting the hopes and fears of migrants, pushing them to making dangerous journeys to the UK with fictitious and false promises that they can settle in the UK if they make it. And this has devastating consequences for the countless men, women and children who have tragically lost their lives or loved ones on perilous journeys. It is also deeply unfair because it advantages those with the means to pay smugglers over the vulnerable who cannot. Global systems and conventions have failed to address this global crisis. And the world has changed and renewed global leadership is required to find new innovative solutions to this growing problem. Today, the United Kingdom and Rwanda have signed a joint new migration and economic development partnership to put an end to this deadly trade in people smuggling. This is part of the United Kingdom's new plan for immigration, to control our borders, protect our communities, stop dangerous illegal migration, help the world's most desperate people, and welcome international talents to the UK. It is the biggest overhaul of our immigration system in decades, underpinned by a National Anti-Borders Bill, which will soon become law. Our country, the United Kingdom, has always extended the hand of friendship to those in need. And in recent years alone, we have proudly welcomed tens of thousands of refugees from Syria, Afghanistan, Ukraine, and BNOs from Hong Kong. Rwanda has one of the strongest records for refugee resettlement. And in recent years, as the minister has just said Rwanda has resettled over 130,000 refugees. It has an established record of welcoming and integrating people, such as those from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Burundi, but also including, for example, people from Libya evacu evacuated under the EU's emergency transit mechanism in partnership with the UN Refugee Agency and the African Union. Rwanda is also a state party to the 1951 UN Refugee Convention and the seven core principles of the UN Human Rights Convention. Border control is fundamental to national sovereignty. Uncontrolled immigration reduces our capability and capacity to help those who need our support. It puts intolerable pressures on public services and on local communities. And at home, as the Prime Minister has said today, because the capacity of the asylum system is not unlimited, the presence of economic migrants, which these illegal routes introduce into the asylum system, inhibits our ability to support others in genuine need of protection. The British people are fair and generous when it comes to helping those in need. But the persistent circumventing of our laws and immigration rules and the reality of a system that is open to gaming and criminal exploitation has eroded public support for Britain's asylum system and those that genuinely need access to it. Putting evil people smugglers out of business is a moral imperative. It requires us to use every tool at our disposal and also to find new solutions. That is why today's Migration and Economic Development Partnership with Rwanda is a major milestone. 
It is also very much in keeping with our vision for global Britain that harnesses the potential for new relationships and stimulates investments and jobs in partner countries. Working together, the United Kingdom and Rwanda will help make the immigration system fairer, ensure that people are safe and enjoy new opportunities to flourish. We have agreed that people who enter the UK illegally will be considered for relocation to Rwanda to have their asylum systems, their asylum claims decided. And those who are resettled will be given the support, including up to five years of training with the help of integration, accommodation, healthcare, so that they can resettle and thrive. This agreement fully complies with all international and national law. And as part of this groundbreaking agreement, the UK is making a substantial investment in the economic development of Rwanda. This will support programs to improve the lives of people in Rwanda and develop the country, the economy, job prospects and opportunities. In addition, the UK will provide funding and expertise to implement this agreement. As I have said many, many times, this is a global issue with many countries struggling to address the challenges and the causes. And there is no single or simple solution. This agreement illustrates that we can no longer accept the status quo. People are dying, and the global migration crisis requires new ways to find new partnerships and to find new solutions. It will also deal a major blow to the evil people smugglers. We know that this will not be easy. We know that we will face challenges along the way. But together with the Nationality and Borders Bill and the new plan for immigration, the UK will support those fleeing oppression and persecution and tyranny through safe and legal routes while controlling our borders and deterring illegal entry. Our world leading migration and economic development partnership is a global first and it will change the way we collectively tackle illegal migration through new, innovative and world leading solutions. Thank you.